Welcome to the third leg of Six Legs of Summer. Today, your challenge is to design your own insect. Have you ever wondered why there are so many insects in the world? Well, the answer is that insects have been around for a really, really long time, even before the dinosaurs, and they're masters of adaptation. They've developed lots and lots of different ways to help them survive in all sorts of different habitats, from tropical rainforests to the Arctic, grasslands to freshwater. So your challenge is to take inspiration from the insect world and to design your own insect perfectly adapted to its environment. Remember to include these essential insect characteristics, six legs, three body parts, head, thorax and abdomen, a pair of antennae, an exoskeleton, and one or two pairs of wings, unless of course your insect is wingless. How will you make your design? Well, you can use anything you like. You might want to draw or paint your insect. You might want to make a 3D model using Lego, junk, or even food. Or you might like to create your insect on screen using Minecraft or paint. It's completely up to you. Send us your design telling us how your insect is adapted to its environment using video or a label photograph via social media or by emailing hopelearning at oum.ox.ac.uk. Let's get started by looking at some British insects for inspiration. First of all, you need to decide where your insect lives. It could be one of many different natural habitats around the world, but you might want to design an insect adapted to live in a more urban environment or perhaps even in space. You also need to decide how your insect moves. In the insect world, we see lots of different ways in which insects are adapted to move around their specific environment. This grasshopper has powerful back legs to help it jump through long grass. Pond skaters are adapted to travel across the surface of water by having a light body, thin long legs and waterproof feet. Of course, many insects have wings which allow them to travel in search of food or mates. The most spectacular of all the insect wings belong to those in the order Lepidoptera. These are the butterflies and the moths. The wings of this peacock butterfly have another very important function as well as flying. Can you see pairs of eyes? They look very much like the face of an owl and if you were a hungry bird you might think twice about attacking. So what other ways do insects have of protecting themselves from predators? This is an area of adaptation where we see an unbelievable range of ingenious approaches throughout the insect world. The ladybird, everyone's favourite insect. But did you know that some species of ladybird have clever and some rather disgusting ways of deterring predators? Some will exude a sticky yellow liquid through their knees when in danger. This is called reflex bleeding because the liquid is actually made from their own blood. You may have noticed it if you've picked up a ladybird and seen the yellow spots of liquid on your hand. There are other insects too that can squirt noxious fluids into the air when they feel threatened. Wood ants spray formic acid out of their rear ends and the bombardier beetle can combine two different liquids stored in separate chambers in its abdomen to produce a boiling hot chemical that explodes from its rear end. For many insects, protection from predators is all about not being seen. There are some amazing masters of disguise whose camouflage is so good we have trouble spotting them in their natural habitat. If you can't blend in with your background, you could always be a master of mimicry and pretend to be something really scary. This furry creature looks very much like a bee, but it's actually a harmless bee fly. Some insects, on the other hand, have weapons that may serve to fend off rivals, help catch prey and deter predators. 
Just look at the ferocious jaws of the stag beetle. They may well put off potential predators, but they are actually all show. They're quite weak and may even prevent the stag beetles from feeding in their adult form. On the other hand, the sharp pincers or forceps at the rear end of these earwigs will give a nasty nip. What will your insect eat and what adaptations will they have to help them feed? In the insect world, you'll find creatures adapted to eating a huge variety of different foods, from sweet nectar to disgusting liquids exuding from poo and dead animals, from leaves to other unsuspecting insects. Insects might be herbivores, omnivores, carnivores or scavengers, and the variety of mouthparts found in the insect world reflects the huge variety of foods that insects eat. There are adaptations for sucking, lapping, chewing, crunching, piercing, sponging and pretty much any other method of eating that you can think of. This grasshopper has a formidable set of jaws or mandibles to let it chomp through tough vegetation. Butterflies have a long tongue or proboscis which coils up into a spiral when not in use but can unfurl allowing them to drink through it like a straw. Ectoparasitic insects, those which feed on the blood of live animals such as mosquitoes, have piercing and sucking mouthparts so that they can gain access to bodily fluids. I hope this has given you some inspiration. Now it's over to you to design your insect in any way you choose. We can't wait to see your designs. Don't forget to share them with us on social media at more than a dodo or by email hopelearning at oum.ox.ac.uk